Hello everyone, this is Jolios PL, and this video is an addendum of sorts to the previous episode of my guide. If you are wondering how big should your mech be, then the short answer is, it depends. The long answer is that various mech sizes have different advantages that I will now go over. First, the smaller mechs. The best thing about small mechs is that they have a low piece count. This makes them quick and fairly cheap to build. Also, they are quite light, making them easy to pose and even if your mechs or its weapons proportions don't conform to the laws of gravity, you can just easily snap them onto a plate. And now my specialty slash the only thing that I'm good at, large mechs. Obviously, you want to build big mechs if you want a full cockpit, meaning that the minifigure is completely hidden. But there are many styles of cockpits, like you can have one encased in glass or even fully exposed. However, if you want a full cockpit, then the bigger the mech, the easier it is to implement. If you want a cockpit in the first place, that is. What I love most about large mechs is just how much stuff you can fit on them. Thrusters of various shapes and sizes, holsters for weapons, built-in weapons such as Vulcans, cannons or missile and grenade launchers, additional limbs and many other gimmicks. Also, the larger the mech, the easier it is to give it a lot of different colors without it looking like a unicorn puked all over it. Now, whether you want to build a small or large mech is completely up to you, neither one is objectively better than the other. Thanks for watching, and if you have your own thoughts about the characteristics of various mech sizes, then be sure to leave a comment. Sorry that I haven't been uploading frequently, I just had a bit of a writer's block of sorts, but I think I'm getting over it. Stay tuned for more videos to come, hopefully sooner rather than later. Take care and goodbye.